Hello, this is Danny with the DEG, and I want to thank you for joining me in today's video estimating tip. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to add Feather Prime and Block into your refinish category using Autotex Capture. So for example purposes, we're going to go ahead and select this Fender to repair right here. And we're going to say, you know what? I think I need five units of labor to repair. So we're going to click on the repair tab right here, and we're going to go ahead and put five units right here. And what we're going to do is we're always going to want to add a lineup to tell a story. So we're going to say repair is over a body line. And again, this is just for example purposes, but this just gives you an idea of we always want to tell a story when determining an on-the-spot evaluation. So once we scroll down, this is where we want to add the good stuff, that feather prime and block operation. And you're going to see right here, it somehow brought that repair allocation to five units right here. So you're going to say, you know what? I want to add one unit labor of Feather, Prime, and Block in, in the Refinish column. So we're going to go ahead and change that to 1.0. And you're going to see by doing so, it reduces it your repair time to four units right here. But you're going to say, you know what? I really want that five units. So we're going to go back to the top, and we're going to adjust this to six units of labor right there. And once we do so, that's where you can see we still have our five units of labor right here. And we now have one unit of Feather, Prime, and Block allocation. So let's go ahead and save it and close and see what it looks like on the actual estimate report. So we're going to open up the report and we're going to preview it. And you're going to see as we scroll down, we have repair fender. We have our nice little uh, line note as well as five units and one hour of feather prime and block. So I hope this video helped you determine how to add feather prime and block and make sure you correctly allocate the right amount of labor or making sure you don't lose that time by thinking that it's going to remain in the right category. Thank you. Have a great day.